Welcome back, my ninjas, to another Contrast 101 speed painting. Today we're going to be painting one of the new Slaves to Darkness models, but we're going to be painting this guy to be a follower of Slanesh. There are multiple different Slanesh color schemes, and we've chosen one we like that's mostly pinks and purples. To begin with, we're going to start with Shayish purple. We'll also be using Volupis pink. We'll also be using um, Ultramarines blue and Snakebite leather. So we're going to start the Shyish Purple. We're going to do all the dragon skins, all the dragon scale uh, and cloth on this figure, except not the entire cloak. Some of the cloak will be saving for uh, uh, other colors. But this is the Shyish Purple is going to be what we use to color in the dragon scale on the cloak and the loincloth. And it's just a dark enough color to leave a good dark contrast between the purple and the pink that we get going on. Uh, and it does a great job of effectively highlighting and shading those scales throughout the uh, dragon cloth. Now we're going to set that aside and go for Volupus Pink. And Volupus Pink now is going to cover all of the metallics uh, elsewhere on the figure. And this is all of the armor, not the boots, uh, but the armor, uh, chest, legs, head, all that stuff. Not the horns either. Uh, and the shield, the large shield on his back will also be Volupus Pink. And this is a good one to... Uh, this is a great model to play around with the contrast paints if you haven't used them much before because you can see how they gather, how it pools, how it fills in those recesses and really creates a dark crevice, but also how it can pool strangely sometimes in parts of the armor and give you a good chance to really mess with moving that contrast around so that it puddles and pools how and where you want it to puddle and pool. And you make the contrast paint work for you. Remember, you work for Slanesh, and, uh, you know, you like to make things... I, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to finish up this uh, Volupus Pink, and then we'll move on to the next set of colors. Alrighty, we're going to take us Ultramarines Blue and we're going to paint the horns. Um, the other thing I want to mention that you could do is you could do a fade where you take Black Templar and put it at the bottom of the horns. 
and ultramarine's blue at the top and then while they're both colors are still wet blend them together I do examples of that blending technique that I do in other videos you could do that that would add additional color I don't feel like it's entirely necessary but if you wanted to add that step feel absolutely free we are kind of doing a speed paint here where I'm not adding too many unnecessary steps so now we give that a chance to dry and it looks like I have lost some footage of how I put these the, the uh, uh, I lost all of the footage of the snakebite leather on the cloaks and the boots as well as the silver. So I do apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes my camera placement is just not good enough and I, I end up not getting the footage I wanted and I only have one go, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, uh, snakebite leather, cloak, silver... Uh, and now we're taking Nuln Oil Gloss and we're going over with the metallic bits. Oh, and that's going to help add that sheen. It's also going to help pick out those details and puddle around the parts that need puddling. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to join me today as we paint this slave to slanesh uh don't forget to leave a like on this video if you want to see more slaves to darkness content i do have the entire box i do plan to go through as many of them as i can uh subscribe if you'd like to see more speed paints with contrast every monday wednesday and friday and don't forget to check out my patreon seven ninjas.com slash patreon uh just a dollar a month helps really keep me in paints minis and brushes so i can continue to bring this content to you and I want to thank you so much, so very much, from the bottom of my heart. I've really enjoyed watching this channel grow, watching the number of subscribers climb. Uh, and so I want to thank you for letting 7 Ninja Studios help you take your slaves to darkness from gray to great. <laughs>